So hello there and welcome to issue number 83 and this issue is all about the Aquarius dog. Uh, be very careful with this one, that's why I've posted the dates prior to this video um, and those are all the dates you have to be in. It's a little bit of a conf confusing one as can be the Capricorn sometimes so just check those dates very thoroughly whereas before you might have been near the dog and you're not or you might have thought you weren't and you are so just be uh, very watchful on them times and dates and then you can find out all about yourself okay let's start in the beginning as the Aquarius dog as a child now if we take the Aquarian on the whole they're very sort of easy going sort of child um, really quite bright especially the sciences um, and not overly sentimental yes they love their family but they like uh, their independence from a very early age as well so yes they look out for their siblings and they do um, look out for uncles aunts etc like that but they aren't tied to them they do tend to have their own circle of friends their own family shall we say they, they create their own little family their own bonds but when the dog's in the mix um, it makes the aquarium a little bit more sentimental uh, than, than the other ones in the uh, in the cycle um, I say a little bit more sentimental than other Aquarians and a little bit more prone to being um, attached to the family uh, a little bit more um, needing their sort of um, needing their sort of okay and their security of them around them a little bit more than other other ones you know okay they're still going to be independent don't get me wrong they're still going to be quite independent children and you're going to know that um from early on but they're going to need sort of like the okay more of siblings and that there's going to be a better bond a closer bond not that parents don't get on with their brothers and sisters but there's a distance uh they this this is cut down a little bit with the dog they like to know everybody's okay they're a lot more watchful than other aquarians about things that could go wrong with their family can worry them quite a lot they do worry about their parents quite a bit so there's a little bit more sentimentality and and slightly more vulnerable than other aquarians seem to be so that's what you'll notice when they're younger you'll notice the aquarium yes they're smiley they're very gregarious easy to get along with yes they're bright um, especially in science areas but sometimes in unorthodox areas not overly with mathematics etc like that but um, with some unorthodox subjects uh, they can be you know exceptionally bright but with the dog there you'll notice a slight anxiety that isn't always apparent in other aquariums so there'll be a smile but it'll be tinged with a little bit of thoughtfulness and there'll be probably a little bit in a world with their own sometimes thinking about I hope mum's alright, I hope dad's okay, I hope this is going to work wonder what's going to happen on the trip of the weekend they'll be a little bit more um, concerned about things and this will go forward into their senior school and even into their university they, they aren't going to be ones that maybe move very far whereas other Aquarians could go to the, the next state easily pick up sticks, right I'm 16, 17 I'm off, I'm going to university, I'm going to crack on, yes, they're right now and then, on email and text, but they don't need that security, but this Aquarian dog um, needs the security of the family being a lot closer, um, and there's going to be a lot more contact, they're going to need that, they may move to, they may move, yes, but it'll be to an area where they've got an uncle, an aunt, um, so there's always that continual line, and um, they can keep in touch with everybody and that will settle them down a bit um, if they have got up people this can be a very unsettled character they can get a little bit uh, snipey a bit spiteful even and they can turn quite quickly so you know if things if they're not picking right then you know there's something at home or something like that which is really you know isn't how they like it um, and as I say Aquarians are very very independent normally and they're still going to be you know they're still going to be have a want for learning and you know going off in the world but there's a little bit more of the apron strings are attached with this anxiety sometimes it can cause the Aquarian and it, uh, very often this Aquarian into the field of if we, if we look at Aquarians on the hold 
they look they see us into the future they will invent things that will, are better that make life easier for us for everybody um, you know better better routines going into the into a canteen and this is what the dogs like you know or better routines about why don't we have this on a bus why don't we have this on a jeep they can invent stuff for DIY excellent like that with the stuff that the aquarium dog that will get involved in will be Bad things in the past, you know, whether it be uh, slavery, um, the way women are treated, or the way, you know, abusive partners, etc. like that, they will be on the defence for these people. They will be hoping things from the past don't happen in the present. So they're going to be a little bit preoccupied with that. They're not going to be your inventors of the stuff for the future, but they're going to be watchers of things bad in the past that don't reoccur in the future. So you'll find them as liaison officers, you'll find them as uh, counsellors, you'll find them in the area working with children, they're excellent at that. Um, you know, you'll find them as a safeguard, as a safe seer um, of things that don't repeat um, against child cheap labour. They'll be on that case. You know, the dog is um, a veteran and they love justice. Couple this with the Aquarian, instead of looking forward, this Aquarian looks back. We don't want that ever happening again. You know, if there was more lifeboats on the Titanic, say for instance, you know, you would have guaranteed a uh, Aquarius dog would have taken up the mantle and that would never happen again. You know, not that it's a disaster. It probably won't happen again, but they make sure it doesn't. You know, it's the safeguard. And that's how they're fantastic. Uh, any family business that you've got, you could very um, easily give it to this uh, custodian and you won't be let down because they keep the tradition and keep everything that was going well. They could even pick up a business that might be failing and say, right, let's take it back to the roots when it was good. What made it good? What makes this tick? Why it has, I don't know, say a, a clothes company or a food chain store, why is their sales suddenly drop? Let's take it back to when, and that's what they're excellent at. You know, um, looking into abusive relationships, etc. They will take it back to, well, when did you get in? You know, let's get back to the roots. And they're very good at this. Um, as I say, they are uh, keepers of good. Um, it's very rare that this combination will ever become aggressive other than if there's a family upset. Family upset or upheaval, then there could be an aggressive character. But other than that, they're not interested in that. They're interested in looking after people. They're a very sensitive, caring, you know, sentimental sign list, this combination, especially when they get older. Um, and they're fantastic for that. So you've got to look at bringing out that, what they're good at. You know, Don't try and push them into, oh, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think? Don't push them there because with the summer clearings you know that you're going to get that off them. They could say, well, I'm, I think this is going to happen, and they're normally very, very close because they have the future. They have the future. They have forward thinking. Don't do that with this one. If it's in your company, if they're in their, your company, make sure they keep what's going well going well, and they will do it. They are dear to the letter. They are dear to the rule. They won't be cutting corners. They say no. This is what makes this successful, so we stick with it, okay? So that's where you've got a slight difference in your clarions. This one is going to be different from the other ones in your group, and um, this is where they excel at. Caring, but in that humane way of a whole body, you know, they care for a whole unit, you know, not just, you know, in one person, you know. They could look after 40 families uh, being that counsellor, or, um, you know, someone kids can talk to very well, if they're having a hard time, they go to this person. So, you know, they, they are a great combination. What you've got to remember, though, is you're going to have um, a sexually very cool customer. They aren't ones that's going to be just, oh, you've lit my fire and that's it. Because, you know, there's going to have to be a lot of coaxing. There's going to have to be a lot of... Um, Courting, really, courting, and showing that you mean it. These people safeguard their hearts very, very, very closely. It's not promiscuous combination whatsoever. Um, 
and you're going to have to really pull out stops to catch this character and get their confidence basically. Once you have that, you're going to have a very, very loyal and devoted partner for life. You know, they're not going to be red hot pokers where you're going to think, oh, you know, I've just met you and you sort of jump into each other's arms. You're going to have to play this slowly, slowly and really gain their trust gain their confidence because you know where they could be confident confident in a lot of areas they're not confident with matters of the heart so we need the perfect match so we're going to have to look at tigers let's start with the tigers let's start with the Aries tiger the Gemini tiger the Libra tiger and the Sagittarian tiger all with um, a great need for justice as well so you're going to get the respect of each other immediately because you're going to be fighting causes and you're going to back each other okay and whereas the tiger doesn't want to necessarily be a stay at home parent you know out there the dog will keep a brilliant home look after the children um, and there's going to be a great great bond there and also you know the tiger will respect that the dog needs a bit of time you know um, yes, the tiger's pretty hot-blooded when it comes to sexual things, but they can also respect that person who is, okay, a little bit cooler and takes a bit of warming up, prefers romance. The tiger doesn't mind that whatsoever. So I really, really enjoy those two together. Okay, and also the horses. The horses and the dog, again. The horse brings a little bit of unpredictability to the dog, but in an exciting way, not in a way where they're going to put them in trouble, but in an exciting way and, you know, makes them feel good about themselves. The horse is ultra, ultra loyal as well. So there's going to be a natural bond and empathy for saying, you know what, I know we're going to stick together. Um, they want somebody for life. Okay, hot-blooded again, the horse, but they will again respect and appreciate somebody who is a little less forthcoming in that. And plus, they will be chucking in the unpredictable romance, like I've got a trip but we're going. And you know, and that can the dog can then calm down, appreciate that spur of the moment generosity, because the dog is a very generous sign as well. And the Aquarian dog is no, you know, exception to that. And they do respond to that such kindness. So boom, it's gonna be wonderful in that sense because then they're relaxed, they'll be away from the routine, the horse likes to do that. And hey, there you go, that rom romance is going to click and boom. Whilst we have to avoid, for all dogs, the Aquarian dog is no, you know, exception to this rule, is any dragons. The dragon, by its sheer overpowering this, um, you know, beautiful creature that it is, very hot blooded, too hot blooded, um, and also um, quite dominant. They need to be heard. And sometimes, as I say, the dragon will trample. The dog doesn't like that. It makes them uneasy, so it's a very, very um, unhealthy combination. So let's avoid that. Well, to all my Aquarian dogs out there, I wish you all the very best of luck. And I hope you find that life partner. And uh, please tune in to my next episode. Thank you.